Will it be a, a disappointing result for you? What was he said the game? Um, well, I thought we got what we deserved is the simple answer to that. I think uh, um, I thought we dipped our toe in the water a little bit as a collective. I think individually I'll never question our commitment and, uh, and application in terms of uh, yeah, in, yeah, effort and commitment individually. We're, we're a good group, so never question that. But uh, we, collectively we weren't... Uh, uh, we weren't willing to work hard enough together and like I said, dipped our toe in the water. We were second to everything in offence and, and uh, we, I thought we managed our defence and, and, and their enthusiasm um, was enough for them really to, to get them the win and they deserve the win and we've got no problem with that at all. Did you think, was there any complacency coming this considering they hadn't won a game and you know? Um, well, the short answer is no. We, de we definitely, there was definitely a, um, an awareness from us that we'd be facing a Castleford side who were facing the potential of unwanted records, losing streaks, etc. We definitely, we definitely understand that we're a good, a good, a good rugby team who, who showed a lot of enthusiasm and uh, has, uh, you know applied themselves stoically against Leeds. So we knew what we were going to get. And we knew if you dip your toe in, then they'll come and get you, and they'll burn you, and and, uh, and that's pretty much what happened. I think it was a new experience for this group coming as favourites. It, that was our challenge, if you like, to to step up to the mark, a uh, bit of a yardstick of where we've been come as a team because we've had you know some great consistency this year against tough opposition. So um, it, it was a good yardstick in in. You know, we applied ourselves as a collective, uh, and how professional we was in uh, in our in our performance. But you know, is that the most frustrating? Is it you can be so long as you can, you know, match Wigan, but coming, you know, well, against the lower ranked team. Right? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I think the disappointment is from our performance. It, I don't. I don't want to reflect on the team we were playing against, and, and I'd be saying the same things if we were playing against. A bigger club will call them, uh, and so I don't want to disrespect our opposition. They, they were very um, enthusiastic, very good, and, uh, and deserved the win. And, and you know, so um, our our disappointments on us, and, and as no bearing on who we were playing against, because as I've said many times, we'll back ourselves against every team. Um, and so, regardless of the opposition, our our performance was. Uh, was way off. We're really disappointed with our performance. Very, very disappointed. After the two tries early in the second half, then when Kate went over, did you think that would have been kind of enough, or were you still thinking it was in the balance and then it could have? I'll be honest. I thought after three, four, five minutes that it had the writings of a 36-30 game all over it, and uh, I weren't far off. Is it a, a welcome break for? Well, we've only got five injuries, uh, but five injuries to us is quite significant. I thought our bench uh, showed that was quite small, and I think Amir Simbin made it difficult in, in them respects. Um, however, so the rest in terms of not having a game, no, we'd rather be in the cup first and foremost. Um, secondly, physically, we don't, we're not too busted in terms of them players who were out there, uh, probably mentally. Uh, it'll do us good to not have to focus on our next opposition. Um, but, you know, I think uh, for me personally, I'd rather be playing next week. Ethan Ryan was, was up to, did he have an issue over there? Uh, no selection. <laughs>